We uh, come to get a few answers on a couple different questions that we have. It's been sort of an information blackout on our end. I mean, that's the biggest issue is getting answers from what's going on. They're still lying to us about things and trying to say the smell from the creek is lime. The community comes together. It's a great little community, but we don't really have any meaningful answers yet. Lincoln J reporting for Rebel News here in East Palestine, Ohio. Now we are approaching the two week mark since one of the largest toxic train derailments in American history took place in this village. Now for those who are unaware, on February 3rd, a train derailed in this village causing the residents to be evacuated. The evacuation order is now lifted. Most residents have returned but are very concerned about how safe the environment in the community is due to the chemicals spilled from the train. So right now I'm standing in front of East Palestine High School. This is where a quote-unquote town hall is taking place where locals here in the community are going to be gathering for a question and answer period where they will potentially be able to raise some concerns over the health hazards that they might be exposed to right now. Representatives from a number of agencies are set to be here tonight. It's important to note that Norfolk Southern, the company that runs the train that derailed, has backed out of the town hall just hours before. We've been on the ground here for a few days now in Ohio. You can check out all of our coverage at ohioexplosion.com. If you like the coverage, you want to support the coverage, you can also donate through that same website. We're going to hopefully talk to some of the locals here tonight and just kind of observe exactly what's taking place. So let's go check it out. Do you think you'll be able to achieve what you came here for tonight? Probably not. Probably not. I think it's going to be a long time. I'm not really hoping to achieve anything because I don't think we're going to get any good information. No, I, don't. I don't think we are. Just get some answers. I mean, that's about it. I mean, that's the biggest issue is getting answers from what's going on. I'm hoping to bring some transparency to what everybody's saying, whether it's the government, the administration, Norfolk Southern, who I hear is not going to be here tonight. But we want to, we want to know the facts. And I think most of the people here in line believe that we're not being told the truth. We uh, come to get a few answers on a couple different questions that we have. Uh, it's been sort of an information blackout on our end. Can't seem to... Seems like, seems like anymore we got to look to outside sources to find out what's going on in our own town because we really don't know. Try and get more people from the area that's having issues to possibly start reaching out to the news media and come together as basically a big team. So it's not individuals fighting a multi-billion dollar company. So it's basically trying to get as many people as you can to build a strong team to go after them together. Sitting around the pub complaining about the stuff with my buddies last night and then I decided you can't complain if we're not doing anything. I'm an hour away in Canton. I'm like I got a van. I'm gonna bring some water over there you know. It's a small gesture but it's what I'm able to do. The people that need to be doing something aren't doing anything. Like, a bomb was dropped on this town you know and people responsible for it aren't doing the right thing. And the people that can make them do the right thing aren't doing the right thing because they're beholden to corporate America. You know, what has happened in our wonderful little town is probably not going to affect me because I'm 80 years old, yeah. but it's going to affect my children, my grandchildren, and my great-grandchildren, and that scares the hell out of me. Yeah, pretty much what Zach said, um, just so that Norfolk Southern takes responsibility for the things they have done, the lives they've affected, the animals, the damage they've done to our environment. I'm worried about, you know, the the single mom that has you know one or two kids there that hasn't been working for the last two weeks has to come back to her house get her house scrubbed down throw away all of her groceries and all of that and 
then figure out, should I wash my infant in this water? I don't have money for more water right now. It's just, it's gross. Norfolk and Southern pulled out because they said they were afraid that there might be violence. Well, use what excuses you want, but um, you're not here to, to give these people the truth. Give them the truth. If you screwed up, you screwed up. Let's make it right. Do you think you'll be able to achieve anything by being here tonight? No. No. Nothing. Who's to blame here? Um, I don't know, but i certainly like to find out. Well, guys, as you can see, we've made it inside. The gymnasium here is packed with both locals and media here to hopefully find out some answers and get some transparency on what exactly is happening right now surrounding the train derailment. still lying to us about things and trying to say the smell from the creek is lime. It smells like bleach. Anyone can walk down there and see it. It's bad. I think it's just a kind of a regurgitation of what we've been hearing, which is very minimal. Um, they're not really telling us much, just that there's nothing in the air and there's nothing in the water, but people are still getting sick, so. Not what we expected, kind of confusing. A lot of people yelling, so I mean, at least it's settled down, getting some answers. It's very important that this never happens again. And if slowing trains down is something that we can petition for or go through to get it, you know, past whatever, to go through a residential area, it's important. The community comes together, it's a great little community, but we don't really have any meaningful answers yet. We still have a lot of questions, some that can't be answered by the people that are in there. Uh, Norfolk Southern needs to be here. They need to answer for what has happened. Um, there's some things that I could say that I'm not going to say on camera, um, but it's pretty frustrating. I think some questions were answered. I don't think enough questions got answered now. There's still too many concerns. Walking through that auditorium, these are friendly, rural people that just want answers. It's just cowardice and a lack of responsibility from the railroad company. Everybody's kind of expecting to at least be here to this meeting but the fact that they're not here kind of shows a little bit of disrespect if I may not. Well guys, things have officially wrapped up at the town hall in East Palestine, Ohio. As you just heard from a lot of the residents that were in attendance, 
they don't exactly feel like their questions were answered tonight. Clearly, a lot of them are very concerned about their health, any potential health hazards that are going to come from the exposure to these chemicals. Norfolk Southern, the company that is responsible for the train, was nowhere to be found tonight. They backed out at the last minute. Many of the residents are not happy with that. They feel like that is the entity that needs to answer the people's questions. We'll keep following this story. We'll see if there's any developments. Like I said, you can check out all of our coverage at ohioexplosion.com. If you appreciate it, consider donating through that same website. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks so much for watching the report, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You can see more reports like this from East Palestine, Ohio at ohioexplosion.com. If you like the coverage, if you appreciate the journalism that we're providing, you can consider making a donation through that same website so we can continue to report on stories like this and show you guys the other side of the story. So once again, thank you guys for tuning in.